the fire station Luxor. I miss that place. The old library. There's a water plant and stuff. There's Eddie Ray's. He got new siding right there because that burnt here a while back. We had a car fire right here at the stop sign. Scorched it pretty good. I'm going to go on across the levee here. Get my toy out. Show y'all what it looks like and stuff. So I'll catch you here in a little bit, okay? Alright, we're across the levee now. Boy, it sure does look pretty over here in the house. Not the best place in the world, but you can see all those leaves and stuff changing colors. You know, fall's getting here. Cooler weather. I don't see no clowns this time. I think it's too cold for the clowns. Oh, wait. Ronald McDonald? No, I wouldn't Ronald McDonald. Uh, I got a car setting up here, so uh, catch you here in a few. What's up, everybody? It's Thursday, 6 p.m., uh, October the 20th. Sorry, I ain't been putting no logs out here lately, and I'll try to get this one uploaded by Saturday. Uh, Tonight I'm going to try to do my little toy truck that I promised y'all and probably some videos tomorrow on it and uh, I'm going to try to prank a few folks tonight so but anyway let's get this thing started okay alright folks this is my project right here put this camera mount here this is a quarter inch boat quarter inch boat here and here and this is my Olympics waterproof camera which I really don't want to put this on there but I got it now I got this camera here it's a Midland XTC holds up to a 32 gigabyte memory card it's waterproof in the case it comes out of the case and it's not waterproof I'm gonna have to make this one here that's a little bit bigger because it's as you can see I don't want to screw in too good. But we'll get a couple turns here. Maybe one more. Yeah, tightened up right there. Good. So that's what that's what he looks like. I gotta come up with a name. Gator maybe. Spy gator. I was wanting this up here, but as you can see, it's leaning to the front. I got a different mount. I just can't find it right now. But there, that way I'll tilt it back up. And I thought about this in here was going to be a side view. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to use it for straight forward. But uh, I'm going to flip this bad boy on. set them down there uh, what do I do with a remote oh yeah also the, this is my son's here it's a jazz video recorder HD up to a 32 gigabyte SD card so uh, yeah, here's the remote not too good on grass but A little slow <laughs> all right we're back battery's about to get run down here so bring bring them back on in
there you have it folks I really don't know what to call it based my little my little spy truck I thought about making and made and this regular flat black paint on it runs off of uh, five batteries in the vehicle and two in the remote uh, twenty dollars at Walmart so I couldn't pass up so what y'all think about it huh Wee! Uh oh I got stuck no I got stuck It's a little weak, but you know, $20, what do you expect? Just gotta do a little bit more prepping. Maybe find me a battery pack that carries like five batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and shut these off. Just in case I need to record some more than that. And yeah, folks, this one here is the waterproof one. You just take and slide that back. And the lights will shut off here in a second. And your video is done. In the case, this is muffled real bad. And on some of my fishing videos, this is what I used when you couldn't hear us a lot. That would be why, because it's in this case, waterproof. Uh, it's really a good, good camera. I think I paid $89 for it at, uh, uh, right before you get to West Memphis, uh, what is that town, Marion. There's a truck stop there. Uh, pretty good sized gas station. But there's a quarter inch hole mount there. And that one right there inside, that in there, the focus, is the mount for the other one. See if I can get this open to show y'all. Oh, you can take it out. The lights come on for a second, but it's, it don't record. Uh, there's this, there's the mount and everything. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get this open, but it's the micro SD card, 32 gigabytes. Uh, Folks, help me out on this. Uh, is that the micro or the mini USB port? I gotta find me another one. This one I got is getting kind of bad. And I hate the one on this camera. It just comes down like that. And it's... I forgot what it's called, but I looked it up. I guess I could have looked that up and find out, but that's there. Whoa. Sure don't want to break this, and this is the best one I got besides my phone. There's this uh, quarter inch hole there. Let's see if I can get this open. And your battery goes in there. And that yellow thing is the SD card adapter okay it takes the same small card as that one right there up to 32 gigabytes so and you see the lights will come back on flash green go back off you need to make sure it hooks and locks and there you go. It's by Midland. And no, this is a, not a sponsor video. I don't do sponsors. At least not yet, anyway. But yeah, folks, $20. Uh, so 98 cents boats and nuts at Walmart for these. I just took me a, uh, trying to think of what it's called, a soldering iron. 
they soldered them with and just burn me a hole through the plastic big enough for the boat go through i super glued the antenna stick in the cord part is not super glued just in case i want to take it back apart also i super glued the antenna stick on this one because it kept on wanting to fall out but this part's not super glued so supposed to be up to 100 feet range uh give me some good batteries i got the Ravac or whatever's in there now but uh yeah, it used to be. Oh, y'all seen my other video. Not bad for $20. Hopefully, it'll make me some good videos. I just got to stack up on some batteries. But folks, it is cool out here, but the daggone mosquitoes are still biting. Uh, I am across the levee at Luxor, Arkansas. For those that don't know, this is a pretty peaceful place as long as you're not on a weekend it don't get too rowdy but a lot of older folks park over here uh yeah i gotta fix my bumper on my truck fixing put a brush guard and a went 12,000 pound winch on the front of it so uh but yeah stay tuned i probably have some more footage on this and uh i'll catch you here in a little bit mr blue signing off All right, everybody, while y'all watching this front cam, I want to do a shout out to one of my friends on YouTube, Colin Julian. He's a good photographer and stuff and does YouTube videos. Go check him out. I'll try to put a link down below if I can. Also, uh, he's been on like a 30 plus day strike, so I am very, uh, can't think of the word, what it's called. I'm really looking up towards him because, you know, he's doing that 30-day strike. I wish I could do that every day on the dot, every day for 30 days plus. So go check out his video and, uh, you know, back to mine, okay? Y'all have a good one.
All right, folks, here's some pictures I took of me welding stuff around the yard. That's my project I'm working on. Still looks like ugly. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, I think I'm going to call it Spy Hunter. Project Spy Hunter for my vehicle. Y'all drop me a comment down below to see what y'all think. This here is some stuff I got to weld on. I'm sorry this took so long. It's actually October 23rd. Sunday, probably about 10.30 a.m. Uh, as far as my farming simulator show, I will be back probably about Wednesday. Because it comes out Monday night. be playing it Tuesday, so I won't get edited and stuff and out till Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, that's my dream truck right here, y'all. I wish I had that truck. And this is my dream video setup. I wish I could get my room to look like that. Anyway, folks, hit that like button. Share, subscribe. Y'all know the routine. And this is Mr. Blue, and I'll catch y'all next time.